Could we have an impromptu sort of Bleak Mornings jingle, please? Bleak Mornings with Greg James. <laughs> Okay, we've got a load of listeners with their bleak morning stories. Can you give us a sort of bleak sounding bit of atmosphere, please? Something. Yeah, nice. Okay, we've got some people lined up on the phones. And first of all, on this morning's bleak morning with Mumford and Sons, sponsored by Mumford and Sons, (laughs) we have Louise in Manchester. Louise! Hello! Louise, give us your bleak morning story, please. I fell off the toilet. Oh, <laughs> Louise. Can I ask, i got to ask the question, how how did you fall off the toilet? Well, I had my first PT session, woke up, had jelly legs, couldn't get up, <laughs> fell on the bathroom floor, trousers around my ankles. Mm. It was a bleak morning. Oh, Louise. So um, we're going to try and, and, and write that wrong. So Mumford and Sons, in your own time, just give us a, give us a little blast of something. It's your own mistake for trying to do personal training Cause now you're on the floor And I don't want to imagine it that much more But Louise, get up now Louise, get up now Oh wow, there's so much to live for It's time to get up now Get up off the floor and Maybe get a towel <laughs> Dry yourself off <laughs> And learn from your mistakes How you feeling Louise? I'm a bit bewildered, I can't believe Mumford and Sons are singing a yeah, song better... about me on the bathroom floor. Yeah, Louise, it's hard because your, your name does rhyme with peas, so I was really trying to avoid it. It's all I could think of. <laughs> Louise, I hope it's brightened your day a bit. It has, definitely. Good luck for the future. <laughs> Thank you. It's going to get better. Ted, after every call, we need you to do the catchphrase. This is a brilliant new catchphrase and I'm going to steal it for the show forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caroline, let's be serious, be serious, be serious. Caroline, uh, good morning. Tell us your bleak morning, please. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. Austin. Hi. Um, I woke up this morning and I found mice nesting in my car. <gasps> Were they there in the footwells? Did you, did you see them? What? How did you know? When I turned on the engine, it smelled of warmed up mice poo. It smelled like warmed up mice poo? Okay, so and mice, so you just well? you, yeah, good question for Marcus. Yeah, is it were there actual mice or was it just the 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 remains of their dinner? Um, the remains of their dinner and um, their nest. So I think this one might have to go out for all the homeless mice as well because they've lost their accommodation. Oh, have you evicted them? I evicted them. I I got out to Hoover this morning, Greg, mm. and I hoovered around the engine. Is that a thing that people do? Hoovering the engine? <laughs> Maybe call a mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this, well, this is a very bizarre well, we'll morning. Start a new business, Hoovering engines. Let's <laughs> all need their engine hoovering. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. There we go. Pop the bonnet. <laughs> what? Is that a thing now? Okay, well, it's novelty for me. Well, you know what? You don't want them nibbling on the wiring, do you? No, exactly. And in fact, the guy down at the garage is saying you're going to have to take this pretty seriously, Caroline, because. They can nibble on the wiring, so even right. you, you could run a bed and breakfast from mice from your car bonnet. Well, we need to write this wrong. We need to try and cheer you up. We need to write a sad song for the mice. It's uh, it's yeah, quite a task, this, nice. Mumford & Sons. <laughs> if, you, if you've got it in you, then um, whenever you're ready, just sing to Caroline, please. I used to love mice. I considered them harmless They were so cuddly and nice But now I find myself carless 
It looks like they've been everywhere But now they're nowhere Just the grisly remnants Of these old tenants The mice have been everywhere I know I'll get the hoover Oh Caroline You're so much better than that Use a leaf blower And it's all going to be alright Good night Wow. <laughs> it's an extraordinary morning we're having. Isn't it? Amazing? Have you ever tried to rhyme anything with Hoover? It's really hard. <laughs> thank you so much, Caroline, for being on Bleak Mornings today. Oh, thank you. That's really cheered me up. Thank you, Mount Puddin' Sons. That's Cheers, brilliant. Caroline. It's all right. Good luck Bye. for the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Megan in London. Hi, Megan. You're on with Mumford and Sons. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi, Megan. Hi. You, say, you sound traumatised. Right. Wow, well, give us the story, right, Megan. Sound good, Megan. It's a bleak morning. Uh-oh, it's a bleak yeah. morning. Okay. Tell us about it. I have lost all my tennis balls. <gasps> oh, no. How did it happen? Tell me about it. Well, I didn't realise the zip on my bag came open. And as I was walking down the hill to work, they all rolled out. Oh, no. And what, and what happened to them all? I managed to retrieve two. Out of how many? Six. <gasps> It's a bad ratio. It was awful. Yeah. Bleak. Okay. Well, what we need to do is turn your morning around, Megan. We can do this okay. for you. Boys, over to you. Oh, Megan. You've lost your balls. They've all rolled out. I'm not sure why you're that upset. (laughs) Megan, are you a professional tennis player or something? There's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world. And you've called a radio station to tell us that? (laughs) Well, we're here to tell you. It's really not that bad. (laughs) So stop complaining. The Australian Open (laughs) I don't think so She doesn't deserve any more than that (laughs) Ted, hit her with the line What a bag of balls (laughs) (laughs) Or the other one it was an uphill struggle this morning. No, Ted. Uh, no, Ted. Ted. The other. The future, remember? Oh. Megan, do you feel better? So much better. That was brilliant. Good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's been a treat. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's been odd. It's, and it's been taxing. Yeah. Mm. I feel emotionally and creatively drained. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I um. I think writing songs is much more difficult than people think. Mm -hmm. And I hope that's proved it. (laughs) (laughs) That was what you set out to do today.